Good morning, Tessa. There were no occurrences during the night. How are you feeling? Good morning, Cor. So-so. I'm rested, but there's still so much going on in my head. I... I dreamed of Finn. I remembered Anthony standing next to his crib. Was that here? No. It was a strange old house, but it was a pleasant memory. It makes me happy to know that we were here together. But now I'd like to know where they are, and why I'm not with them. We can start the signal once we have repaired the communications console. The quicker you find them, the quicker you can ask them. Hmm. It's nice of you to motivate me like this. But really, all you want is my company so you don't have to spend the rest of your life alone on this planet. I am merely concerned about your survival. That is my task. I am of secondary importance. In my memories, the two of them lived in a different place for years. But instead they were here. I think I'll be saved before I get to talk to them through the communications console. Would that be so bad? No, but the answer to what happened to them and where I can find them is here, Kor. They might still be on this planet. And if someone is trying to make me forget everything so badly, I should gather every single drop of memory I can before I leave. Understood. So, we will look for more information. You know that's not what I mean. We support you in any decision. I'm just saying that you don't have to do it for us. It would mean more money, long-term security. Once we're back, I could do more, have a bigger influence. And Finn could get a decent degree. And it means less danger. Instead of going on expeditions as an explorer, I'd be commander of the station. We'd be together more often, as a family. That would be good for all of us. But Tessa, you live for your field work. You're an explorer through and through. Do you really want to give that up? Yes, I'm ready. I have to be prepared for changes. Be an adult. But I like the old Tessa, too. The one I discovered so many things with. <laughs> I like her, too. But don't worry, I'm still myself. I don't want to be a burden. You can be whatever you want to be. President of the Earth, for all I care. But... Well, Finn does prefer hearing stories when they come from you, not from his kid's core's voice. But please, only do this if you really want to. Don't do it just for us. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But that shouldn't be the only reason you do it. What is she... am I doing there? She's writing something on the wall. I am registering a strange substance on the wall, but I cannot trace it properly. Mr. Bishop said our outpost would be closing down in about a year. So, we're going to have to be transferred to other places to jobs. Or, should I say, we're allowed to. You told me. And, how does that make you feel? How do you like being in command instead of going out there exploring? It was exciting at first. A different kind of thrill. Lots of responsibilities. I can mess up even more than I thought. But change it for the better as well. I even needed creativity and improvisational talent. I mean, there's lots of problems that need to be solved. That's the stuff I need. Even though I have to delegate a lot. When there's something wrong and all I want to do is take things into my own hands, that's what annoys me. And sometimes there's just nothing to do at all. And that's horrible as well. Be honest. Would you rather go back to being an explorer? Yes. No. I just, I don't know. More adventures or more security? Those two things just don't go together. A boring office job and us around you. That's one of your options. But what's most important is that you're happy. Everyone here appreciates you in the role as commander. Me especially. But you're the one who has to decide whether you're right for this post. You... and nobody else.
There is a picture of the three of you here. I remember that day. It was one of our family outings. And this picture here is Finn's third birthday. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that's interesting. A two. A one. A zero. A four. There have to be some hints for a safe as strange as this one. A small bed, freshly made. Finn must have been sleeping here. Tony and I used to just love sitting there and reading. And what about Finn? Did he like reading, too, or did you have to read to him? If I remember correctly, he couldn't read, but he loved listening. These were probably the books that were suitable for Finn. This one is about a British soldier who's looking for his friend and has to solve all kinds of problems on the way, and then finds a place of legend. There's not much here. Some clothes. Nothing useful, I think. Wait a minute. There's an injection gun here. Just like in the control room. It's empty, but... Is this a coincidence? I'll leave it here. There's a light capsule missing here. You're coming with me. This is where I wrote something on the wall in one of those hollow records. But I can't see it, even with this lamp on. I'll take it with me again. In it are a lot of light caps, but they're all different. Another light capsule. Let's see. There's exactly one black light emitter with this socket size. Let's see what sort of hidden things you can bring to light. Oh, yes, there's something written here. Looks like a small formula. A chess piece and then X plus five. I'll write it down. I wrote down the formula here that was visible in the black light. A chess piece and then X plus five. I'll take it with me again.
Let's see what sort of hidden things you can bring to light. I've seen all there is to see. Let's hope there's more hidden somewhere else. You're coming with me. Let's see what sort of hidden things you can bring to light. Oh, there's something visible in the black light on the inside here. There's another formula here. I'll write it next to the other one. 10 minus X. I'll take that. Is this the right time to redecorate? Let's see what hidden things you can reveal. There's another formula here. I'll write it next to the other one. A bird and then X minus three. I've seen everything there is to see here. Let's hope there's something else hidden somewhere. I wrote down the formula here that was visible in the black light. A chess piece and then X plus five. A bird and then X minus three. 10 minus X. Hmm. I suppose these rules could have something to do with the safe. There have to be some. Let's see. I've seen all there is. Let's see what. There's another formula here. I'll write it next to the other one square, and then x times 3. Hmm.
Finally! Come on, I must have hidden something interesting here. <sighs> this is finally my real ID card. Commander Tessa Carter. Maybe I can find something in the logbook. You could also use it to reactivate me. Good idea. But, uh... Won't that erase your memory or something? No, that should not happen. Good. Come here, then. Registering Commander Carter. Core? Confirmed. Is it you? I mean, like, before. My basic subroutines cannot answer philosophical questions. <sighs> then let me put it this way. Do you remember? Short-term memory cache empty. No backup available. <sighs> Damn. Awaiting input. Input? <laughs> Damn it. I'd have to start with Adam and Eve for you to understand our situation. At least you've stopped making stupid jokes. You always wanted me to be more humorous. <laughs> I knew you were playing with me. It's nice to see you're not just a cold-hearted machine. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you. But back to business. Do you have any new information that might help us? Not as such, but thanks to your authorization as commander, I was able to access the hitherto locked hologram recordings. That sounds good. Let's not waste any time. Tony. No more field work. As commander of the station, everything will be less dangerous. Isn't that what you said? And yet you're on this mission to make sure everything's being done correctly. I understood you. I was always there to support you. But then you made a mistake and... I misjudged you. Because of the emergency protocol, every single team member's location was checked to begin rescuing them. This revealed that Tessa Carter isn't out there. But instead, flying with Mark is someone called Melissa Luna. Who is this Melissa Luna, I wondered. And so I asked the vice commander, the doctor, everyone, Nobody knows. The entries and examinations... all forged. According to the mission data, she was part of all kinds of missions in the last few years. First-rate references, lots of results. She could be your rival. And then I had this nagging idea. I compared her mission data to yours. Melissa Luna was always on expeditions whenever you had to work usually while you were out somewhere else. Whenever you had to leave for an emergency, or when there were issues with the radio units, anything that would need the attention of a commander. And at the same time, Melissa Luna was out exploring with the rover. But because Melissa Luna doesn't exist, there's only one explanation. You were driving across the planet in that rover and fed the rover with forged data. Otherwise, someone might have noticed. Me. I swore I'd love and cherish you. I'd support you in whatever you did, and I would have, even with this, if you had trusted me. But instead, you kept it a secret and lied to me. You always want to do everything on your own and without help. I... I just don't get it. I want to see you again and talk about this. I'm sure you can explain everything. We've had contact from a ship that can evacuate us. Who knows if we'll ever get a chance like this again. And so I voted against waiting for your return. I want to begin the evacuation as soon as possible. Unfortunately, my vote was the deciding one. Maybe I'll come to regret this. But staying here, and maybe even losing Finn? Instead of you, I... I can't. I hate myself, but all of the stuff recently... Forgive me. I'd love to say none of this makes sense. But as shocking as it is, it also fits the picture. You still have no recollection of any of this? Just fragments. I think it's getting better. I remember the emptiness of not feeling any thrills. No challenges. 
and the fear of disappointing everyone if I were to return to my old job. The one I really wanted to live. But to think I'd go that far and do everything in secret? I wouldn't have thought that. And that's why I wasn't with them when they fled. Then why become commander? That dilapidated house I saw Anthony and Finn in last night. It belonged to Tony's parents. We lived there when Finn was born because we couldn't afford our own place yet. And it didn't get better afterwards. Maybe I thought I could kill two birds with one stone. Adventures for me, all while being paid properly and being able to provide for my family. Maybe Tony thought I was being selfish. <laughs> and maybe he was right. Either way, I bit off more than I could chew. But at least now we know where they are. They have been evacuated, picked up, and brought to safety. They were fleeing from something. We know that for sure. Tony was so scared of it. So scared for Finn, that he even left me behind. We have to find out what they were fleeing from, and if they... if they made it. We have access to all readable hologram recordings now. Yes, you're right. The truth has to be here somewhere. We just have to find it.